fields and driven by Terry Chapman, the mechanical engineering sophomore at Ohio State. Terry recently won a national race with this vehicle in Terre Haute, Indiana. Now this craft can reach speeds of 70 miles per hour and as you can see it goes on land, water, ice or snow. Terry has been building these machines since he was 12 years old. How complicated is it to put one together? They're quite simple actually, just uh, uh, eight inch plywood uh, skin on top, mahogany, over a pine frame. They're really simple actually. 14 days it took me to build this one. Now these hovercrafts are not easy to drive. First of all, they're tough to steer and stopping them is something else. Well, it's not like any other vehicle. Uh, riding on a cushion of air, it takes about eight hours to learn to get the knack of it because you side slip. And uh, since you're riding on a cushion of air, there are no brakes at all. And you have to do a 180 degree turn and cut lift or else just do a 180 degree turn and give it a uh, forward thrust to stop or a combination of the both. This sport could very easily become a livelihood for Terry. He has already built and sold five machines. Yeah, it's been really re rewarding for me. I've been it for seven years now, and it's getting to be quite profitable for me, too, where I can turn, turn a craft out in only 14 days, like in this craft, and uh, sell it for twice as much what I put into it.